What is up, YouTube? It is your boy John here from Poomba Plow Play and some more Farming Simulator 22. We are back all on My Lands 4X by Stevie. Let's get to it. Storms, what's up? Howdy, howdy. Howdy, howdy, howdy. All right, we need to turn alerts on here as well. All right. What did I tell you earlier today, Storms? The last stream we had 280 something followers. Oh, yeah. <laughs> by the way, here, this is what I wanted to show you. Come here. Get in. Can't you ride with me? Can you not ride with this and the John Deere one? That's there it is. Okay. The habit, what's going on? Mary, welcome in. What's popping? It's going, habit. Okay, so watch this. I made a parking spot for this thing. This is all I wanted to show you, right? All right, so we just hit that. Now, no hands, right? This is an auto drive parking spot chat. Two ten underscore fifty cheered Dex two thousand. Howdy, John, on this less cold Thursday. Oh, apparently we got to go for a. Oh God, where where are we? This is gonna take. Hang on, that's gonna take another two minutes. Hold on, Justin. Thanks for the two thousand bits on this less cold Thursday. Happy uh, Happy Thursday to you. Welcome in. Thank you so much for the bits. Miss Walker, John thanks for the three hundred. Miss Walker three one four two oh cheered Dex three hundred. Miss Walker, thanks for the three hundred bits. Watch this chat. I'm so proud of this. Just watch. Just wait for it. Watch. <laughs> it drives up on the side. <laughs> That's all I wanted to show you, Storm. So you can, yeah. <laughs> Give me and Polar Bear. Welcome in. How's it going? Do what? I'm going back to the woods. <laughs> no. No. That was earlier today, remember? Actually, I think we're fast timing right away, aren't we? Uh, yeah, I think we have to. Yeah, I think we're fast timing, so don't run away too far on me. Got to get that corn ready to forage harvest. Oh, come on. You have to admit that was funny. No. no. I think it's a good thing. I like it. <laughs> I bet that one only took me a couple minutes. Because all I here, I'll show you. I'll show you what I what I did. I'll show you. Watch. Oh, I, hang on. Let me have the driver's seat real quick. How did I, I end up in it? I have no idea. I was over yeah, by the you barn. Were. Um, all I had to do was make a liter literally one waypoint. I named it UTV. I I click click, and then I like, sh yeah, that's it. No big uh, Mama Llama 3 cheered Dex 100. Lidl, 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 Lee. Happy Thursday. Mama Llama, welcome in to appreciate the 100 bits. How's it going? And thanks for pushing the hype train. Uh, It's level 3. Let's go. Who is going good? Awesome. Uh, Kimmy, we're, we're playing that all day tomorrow, by the way. All stream tomorrow will be Railroader. Okay? It's going to be a good time. Now you're going to yell at me? Oh, God. Uh, do you want to harvest corn a day earlier, or do you want to wait for it to... Do you care? I don't care. I don't care. I love it. I don't care. Okay, our grass is day one. Let's just go ahead and forge harvest today. Whatever. It doesn't matter. Uh, Kimmy, why are you going to yell at me for, like, showing you a game that you're all about now? Is that why? Da -da. Oh, by the way, there's truck parking spots now, too. This one took a while. Watch this, chat. There might be five truck parking spots, and you can... Um, and two of the trucks stay with the forestry. Oh, well, you can make truck parking spots for those trucks, too. They already have the parking spot. You just send them to either hilltop or to the base <laughs> of the mountain. Uh, okay, Kimmy, I got you. I got you. Yeah, I need, definitely should do that. I didn't realize that that thing's even... I don't even know how accurate that schedule is in general. You were sitting here waiting at 12. I'm sorry. Uh, the other thing, by the way, that has a parking spot dedicated are the Big M's. They have dedicated parking spots. Big M parking one, Big M parking two. <laughs> how cool is that? Anyway, sorry. I'm, like, way nerding out right now, chat. We starting in the big field or small field? Whatever's clever. I'm coming with the semi. 
What's that? You got? You got your tipper? Yeah, I just put okay. some of the wood chips in the composter. Get that going. All right, field four it is. Uh, and then we have truck spots for fields, and we have. We don't have a waypoint over here, do we? Or should we just dump know. it? Should we just dump it in uh, storage for now, and then we can pull it back out later, so we can just like work, you know? Um. I mean, I know these hold a million liters. Are we forging first, or are we harvesting first? Oh. Um, well, either way, we need to forge harvest today because we can't harvest harvest yet. We're going to go, right. we're going to forge harvest the field five. That's what it is. Field four is going to be harvested as corn. Okay. Uh, my, my question still stands though. Should we just dump it in storage for now? Uh, depends on how, th oh, uh, this R is my, I, I might I imagine we're running the trucks in the field because you're forge harvesting. I was actually going to use the auger wagons. Just to really? complicate auger. Yeah, to complicate auto drive as much as humanly possible. Yeah. I want to test out my new theory over there for, for the auto drive I laid out. Does that make sense? I was kind of thinking you and I both run harvesters like choppers and then everything else be automated. No? Uh, Justin, I actually didn't do like all of my own. Um, I took the the from the auto drive guy, and I've just been tweaking on it. I've just been messing on it. Uh, Scoot, it's not that I didn't like uh, how things were parked. It's just I wanted organization, and I wanted things to be really clean. And um, things are organized now. I spent a lot of time Tuesday night. This is basically what I did Tuesday off stream, like Tuesday night. I organized, I parked, I, yeah. That's basically what I, uh, what I did. So it was fun. It was, it was really fun. Yeah. Is Sean still? Yeah, Sean's around. He's just not here yet. He'll be here eventually, I'm sure, tonight. That'll last five minutes, probably. For starters, we don't have to run trucks in the field. We can, I just want to, or not, auger wagons, I meant to say. We don't have to. Well, the thing is, if you're running the trailer behind the, uh, the harvester, didn't that always have problems with auto draft or course play? Probably. <laughs> you're not wrong. Oops, oops, oops. Uh, come on. Come on, there we go. That's fine. Let's, so what do you want to do? You want, you want to run a truck? You want to run the harvester? I'll run a truck. Okay. It was nice to start. Yeah, Justin, definitely, definitely, definitely. For sure. No, I was going to Not that it wasn't that anything's wrong. I just wanted, like, you know, the tillage tools to be next to each other, the loading wagons to be next to each other, the combines to be, you know, I just wanted things grouped up. That's all I wanted. It's not that anything's right or wrong. I just wanted some organization. That's all. That's all I really wanted it was organization. It's not that anything's right or wrong. It's just, you know. That's all. Stars, is, I'm I'm that bad right now. You're cracking a cold. Well, I know it's a Pepsi. It's a Pepsi. Yeah, I know. But I'm triggering you, huh? Just every time you breathe. <laughs> uh, where's the wagon for this, though? Oh, there it is. I was like, I have no idea where I parked that. Well, say so you parked everything. <laughs> Did I mention I was also like half asleep? You guys were playing ready or not, and like I would I muted my microphone because I was fearful of snoring. Okay. Oh yeah, we figured you passed out. I I heard you guys talking about me. I just didn't unmute to defend myself. <laughs> it's 
because we were right? <laughs> uh, you weren't ready to game. You thought I was playing Railroaders today. Sorry. No, nope, we're here. Railroader tomorrow. I think this will probably be kind of the new schedule. We'll do farm sim like Tuesday, Thursdays, Saturdays, and then like the alt game the other days. And if I pick up like a random stream, who knows what it'll be. Probably Railroader to make Kimmy happy. Uh, you know. Maybe. Oh, uh, she's the new dictator. I mean, director. Uh, <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. It happens. We have issues with the auger not unloading while in course play. The auger on what? Uh, if you mean like an auger wagon, we don't use course play for that. We use auto drive. Don't make her happy. <laughs> oh, gosh. <laughs> All right. Let's get eliminated. Or something. But I think I sent the other truck over there, too, by the way. Yeah, you did. Oh, she's okay. She's a stream manager, Storms. Yeah. Whatever you want to call it. I mean, if that makes you sleep better at night. So, if I were to course play this rig right now, this trailer would not unload. No. If that's the question. No, this would not unload. We have to run this manually to make this trailer work. So, yeah. It's a thing. You. Uh, I just I don't know why chat for those of you that don't know Kimmy and Polar Bear are actually like really good friends they don't actually hate each other but you sure wouldn't know that Um, you sure wouldn't know that if you uh, just you know know them through like chat here you know what I mean like you would not yeah that's what you were running into. Yeah, so if we were to do that, uh, run this on course play, this this would not work. No. This would not work at all. So I, I redid the auto drive around this field. If you guys were here the other day, you know we were having problems. And part of the auto drive problems that we were having is that we uh, actually didn't have our tractor set up correctly. They were not set to find like the nearest waypoint. So that was part of our problem. I have put field boundaries around these two fields anyway. And I have also kind of what Scoot was talking about. And like, I kind of thought about it a little more and like, and like changed how I did auto drive on these two fields. So I, at some point we're going to have to test them. It's not going to be tonight. You see, no one went back and fixed the corner. Uh, that was uh, Storms' job. How's, how's that bus feel, Storms? I don't <laughs> really Pink care. just resubscribed for two months. Oh, Vicky Jammer, thanks for the Z about the resub. Do appreciate it. I'm not planting metal grass, so <laughs> I don't know what you expect. We should just plant metal grass in the little corner right there, the little swoop, you know? And then it's done. And the field would be beautiful. Go right on ahead. I know how that'll make your heart happy. It'll just it'll just warm my soul, you know? <laughs> uh we do have ten million dollars, so I think we could afford uh some meadow grass, right? Maybe. So anyway, chat, so here <sighs> here, watch this. I'm gonna now I'm gonna show a chat what I did. All right, so ready for this chat? I redid the auto drive, right? And Scoot was asking if it was possible the other day to run like a north-south line through the field so that anything over here would go down around and not have to go around the whole field, right? So I took it a step farther. So basically center the field to the left runs clockwise, meaning if there's something over here, it's gonna go down, it's gonna run up around the field clockwise. If there's something over here, it's gonna run counterclockwise. And then it goes past the dump point and then loops back into the dump point. 
So that in theory, something only has to drive around half of the field instead of the whole field. So it's kind of, kind of interesting, you know. I I haven't really tested it much, but it's it's something. It could be interesting. That's for sure. So yeah. How much does your trailer even hold? Uh, I think the answer is yes. I want to say it's like two fifty. So, uh, you want to run a harvester? <laughs> uh, I mean, scoot, in, a, in a way, it just, it made me think like, hey, I don't really want something driving through the center of the field because then, you know, you're going to have like potential, uh, collision issues, right? So, yeah. How did I add field numbers? Justin, I'm a wizard. That's how I did that. Uh, use course play, actually, uh, Justin. You come down here to um, this one. And you click off of anything. I'm not clicked on any tractors or anything. And then you can draw your field with right click. And it's not perfect. Uh, but it's it's okay, you know. Here, we'll make the, uh, we'll make the Big Dipper. That's the Big Dipper chat. That's what that is handles a little small uh but you can save that and then that becomes a field and then you can write or you can click on it right and then you can um na change the name and then actually you can go in here and i haven't quite figured this out but somehow you can edit i don't know how to do that part but you can do that too and then you can also um um you can also just like delete it Or the answer still stands. I'm a wizard. <laughs> I'm a wizard. Thanks, uh, Polar Bear. Really appreciate you. Big astrology guy, you know, big stars and stuff, you know. The stars at night are big and bright, I've heard, deep in the heart of Texas. Exactly, Kimmy. Yeah. Uh -huh. That's me. Oh, goodness, goodness, goodness. So, more harvesters? <laughs> Maybe once we get past the outside route? Once Scoot gets here. There we go. Grab another harvester. Oh, sorry, Kimmy, I saw you ask that. I asked that before and I did it. Um, wow, English is hard. Uh, probably around three o'clock tomorrow, Kimmy. Probably around three o'clock central. Three o'clock central. Railroads until 10 p.m. All the woo-woos that anybody could ever want. They're something, okay? You betcha. <laughs> Watch it. Trend is very adamant. Central, not not that eastern stuff. All right now. But yeah, so that's what we're doing tomorrow. It's gonna be a good time. <laughs> wow, polar bear. I don't know if I could be that mean. Check your blood. Okay. Dude, I get it. John has that effect on me, too. <laughs> Just because I told you you can't cut any trees down tonight while we're streaming. Did I actually tell you that? I kind of... It was implied, right? No, you flat out told me. Yeah, I did kind of tell you. <laughs> uh, Kimmy found something out yesterday. Can you be a mod for five minutes? Uh, thanks for the uh, follow, by the way. Appreciate you. Welcome in. How's it going? Gee, Kimmy, I wonder what you would do if you had mod for five minutes. I can only imagine. <laughs> I could only imagine. Oh, uh, that's funny. I think it's only just pure volume. Yeah, bear. just volume, and honestly, I enjoyed this process a lot, Polar Bear. 
Um, I don't actually know, like, should we conduct science tonight? We can start conducting science. What if we do a little science? You want to do science? Should we break out the lab coats, chat? What did to do now? Well, if we took this field and we um, maybe wrote down our total whatever we get off of this field tonight. Okay. Because okay. this is fully lime, fully fertilized, uh, and chaff the whole field, which that's what we're doing. We're chaffing this field tonight. And we wrote that number down. And then maybe we planted this in grass and mowed it all all in game next year. And then which what and then jot that number down, right? So we'd have to write it down every time we harvest, right? Or yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For the year. Okay. And then we'd be able to know which one in in a year, which one actually gives you more. Is it chopping corn or mowing grass multiple times? Thoughts? Sure. We've, we've never done the science. We've never done it. Chat, what do you think? Should we do that? Oh, uh, I got you, Scoot. Well, then maybe you shouldn't come. You know, couldn't shouldn't be around me then. You would think it'd be grass. See, I don't know, Kimmy. I enjoy this process. That's the thing. I do. Polar bear likes science experiments. Okay. Oh, look at this smidge. It's two rows. Two rows. Literally two rows. Oh, nice. That's okay. Well, then let's do that. So we don't have any chaff right now. Um, we can go ahead and just dump it in bunkers and, and we'll add it up later. Uh, that or we just throw it on storage and then that'll give us one clean number, right? No, it's true, Kimmy. It's true, true, true. I, see, I don't know. We've always kind of gone back and forth on which way is actually better. I don't. Maybe it's time to do the science. And I don't want to, like, Google and see what somebody else has to say. I want to do it myself. Fire yeah, Shadow, just, what's going on? What? Just dump it in storage for now. Yeah. For just... a number, and then we'll put it in the pits afterwards. That yep. way. It's a nice, clean. Uh, just to prove to everybody, we have zero chaff in storage currently. Zero chaff, so we're doing it. And then actually, uh, when we do the grass, we can um, we can we can do that too because I have a I put in a storage down here. Okay, so we could just send it to that storage and make sure whatever other grass we have is up north, and then we won't be able to use the escape menu, but we would be able to. Uh, what's it called? Look. Just walk up to it. Yeah, just walk up to it. So. And then I don't actually know. Is it a one to one like grass to technically chaff when you dump it in the bunker? Does it stay that same amount? I would imagine so. I don't, I don't know. That's interesting, though, right? And then the big thing we'll do is make sure that like we always have additive and then we know there's basically there's a very minute difference or basically no difference between like corn like this that's still green and corn that's all the right all the way ready like tomorrow in game we know there's basically no difference between those two yeah and scoot what's up he's here somewhere chat Maybe. There he is. What up? Not much. Did you uh, add stuff, I guess? I did. I did. It's all in the Google Drive. Just download the whole thing and then uh, chuck it in and override whatever you have. Because there's at least one that's uh, an update. Well, it's I'll be back in just a second then. All right. All good. It's the John Deere. It has brakes now. 
All right, I guess I haven't Yay. actually used it yet. <laughs> How are they, stars? Are they real good? They're not going to make you kiss their windshield, but oh. All right, I was hoping for some action, you know. They're not going to take you know forty acres to stop either. Okay, I make myself laugh. That's all that matters. Oh, okay. All right. Oh, God. Ah, uh, this is uh, My Lands Forex by Stevie, edited by Stars. We already have another Forge Harvester Wait, set up. No, no. Yeah, I'll go ahead and buy that okay. while Squeeze Kid downloading stuff. So, I say edited by Storms. What he did was uh, took that hole. It's the southwest uh, quadrant of the map down here. And you can see there's kind of a mountain. Uh, you can't see it from here because we're too far away, but that thing's covered in trees. So, that's the big thing. And then actually took uh, this plot of land here in the middle and completely flattened it. So we can do a bunch of building without having to landscape. We don't have to have this way or that way. We won't have floating fences and all that weird stuff like that. So, You do just standard pipe or you get the extended? Uh, extended pipe. And then on the header, don't worry about the capacity because it doesn't work anyway. Yeah. Um, and then the trailer is just the modded one. I don't think there's any options on that. Is well. Maybe there is. I, I don't know. I haven't got that far yet. Uh, this one's 250000 by the way. Is what well, since you're in there, buy it. Uh, hang on. Do, 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 do. Yeah, there's basically no options. Okay, there's tires. That's it. You saw the bat wings? I did. Okay. I did. I just glanced in the used vehicle. I'm like, they were uh, ah. they were in my way in the shed. So there's a 30 mile per hour uh, corn header in here too. Oh boy. 6% off. Seems like a good map. So the interesting thing about this map is it's basically like no man's land, but uh, 4X and a whole lot flatter and a lot less trees, but with like way more productions and sell points. So it's kind of like no man's land, but also kind of not like no man's land at all in a way. So, yeah, but there's basically there's like no fields. Uh, it's all just meadow grass. Like the whole map's meadow grass. So it's pretty much like my happy place. Just saying. <laughs> it's a map that is meant to be uh, a map that is meant to be edited and customized. It's pretty cool. It is pretty cool. I like it. I like where we're going with it. Like our homestead. It's just, you know, I need to put in a lot of a lot of work but i also wanted to have like food for the cows before i put up like you know six more cow barns or something like that you know and hence the chaffing that we're doing right now so yeah uh so you can get the actual map the without our edits you can get that from stevie's uh youtube or facebook uh, if you do exclamation point Stevie, the Facebook link is broken in there and I keep forgetting to fix it, but the YouTube link works. You can go to his YouTube and you can download it. The, our edited version is not available, uh, out there in the world anywhere, but his, his is out there. Definitely check out Stevie. He's awesome. Awesome modder. Been around for a long time and, uh, this makes quality. Quality content, quality mods, quality quality maps. Makes really good maps. We pretty much play them all. And he's actually working on a map that's basically this map, but actually built out as a full map and not just like big open grasslands. So I, he put up a teaser video for that the other day on his uh, YouTube. That looked pretty darn cool. So yeah, it's a, it's a whole thing. That's pretty neat. Oh man. So chat, remember a couple weeks ago now? 
when I got on that kick and I kept talking about how I wanted to make buffalo chicken dip and I finally made it that like Sunday well I put I put the leftovers in the freezer okay so for dinner tonight I broke out buffalo chicken dip out of the freezer it was so good it was so good added a little more cheese to it some corn chips oh man and that was my dinner. It was so, so scrumptious, chat. Just saying. Or something like that. Sounds so good. If you like buffalo and chicken and... Yeah, it's great. Great. It was super yummy. So what do I do to stop Discord from constantly beeping at me? To stop Discord? Set your yeah. status to uh, do not disturb. You mean TeamSpeak? No. Why is Discord beeping at you? Because I'm in like 9 million channels and people just are having like a conversation and it keeps popping oh, up on my screen. Oh, you can the setting yourself to away mute that storm in Discord? I thought you meant TeamSpeak, honestly. I don't know about away, but I uh, do not disturb. That's why yeah. mine always says do not disturb. So we'll right click this. on your little or click on your little profile down there in the in the left bottom left. Yeah, I got it. It's it's stopped so far. <laughs> uh Kibby, I did not have the scoop chips. I just had white corn like triangle chips. That for some reason maintained their crunch even after being like smothered in buffalo chicken dip for like a while. Because they was too hot to eat. I, I kind of like heated up on the stove in a pot and like a little skillet thing. And it was so hot I couldn't eat it for like the longest time. And uh, so by the time I was able to eat it, it was kind of a while. And they were still crunchy. And I was like all about it. I'm just saying. All about it. <laughs> well, it wouldn't be a Puma Flash stream, Mary, if we didn't talk about food. Usually it's pizza. So, you know. Oh, man. We're, we're, yeah. It's a whole thing. It's what we do. It's what we do. Right. So back and forth, am I right? Yep. I should have had you turn these up just a hair stress. I bet I could figure that out, right? Yeah. <laughs> I heard. I mean, I figured it out, so. <laughs> All right. What XML is that in? <laughs> uh, not the one that says mod description. Yeah, because that's just the description it's usually, of it in the shop. Yeah, it's usually whatever the name of the uh, mod you're working on is. Gotcha. Yeah. All right. Because, uh, like, nine miles an hour would be ten miles an hour. I would be very happy with ten, right? Yeah. Twenty miles an hour. All right, Storm's 45 final offer. All right. The, th the harvester only goes 32, so. Gotta go turn All that right. up some, too. I'll make that D60. 120 we'll miles an hour, all right? All right. We'll get to the field yesterday. 16 would be better. I think 10 would be okay, honestly. Like, I don't want to go, like, crazy, but um, these are big fields. Adam, what's going on? How are you? Well, so actually, if we're going to plant this field in grass, maybe we don't want to plant across the road in grass for this next year, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Good thing I removed all the auto driver out. Those fields are ready to get them ready to be plowed together. <laughs> uh, I nuked all of it over here. There's only field four is the only waypoint left. I got rid of the rest of it. So, yeah. Yeah, it's all right, because we can just plow all that together and then plant it in corn. It's common. So, I'm... I'm a big dummy. Big dummy dummy? Yeah. 
Okay, what'd you do? So I went to I went to Google Drive and I downloaded the My Lands. Mm hmm. Well, I leave your Google Drive up on a tab. Uh huh. So it downloaded the 113, not the 117. So when I went back and tried to load, it said you still have these mods. How are you even seeing the other? Oh, you hadn't refreshed. Correct. Ah. <laughs> so now it's downloading the right one. <laughs> I was like, that's not even the thing. It's in my trash on Google Drive. <laughs> like, what are you talking about? No, uh, when you try to log into the game, it tells you they're unavailable for the ones you're still missing. Yeah. No, but I mean, like, if you downloaded the old the whatever file. Oh, wait. No, yeah, it's not even in there anymore. Yeah. Yeah, cause, well, it let me download it because I hadn't refreshed my, certain, I, my browser. I, I got you. I got you. I got you. Yeah. Red Tiny Objects, no, we're not going to 42 point. That, no, you're making a 426. No, we're not doing that, Elon Musk. Calm down. Because <laughs> let's be honest, that's like something Elon would say. In order to do that, I would need that in kilometers because that's what everything is based on. Yeah. Are you full yet? You're only 20. No. Can 79 gigawatts. No, no. 79% full. Get lowered. Get lowered. Although after this, I'm just going to turn around. So I'll have like, you know, a full pass. Or convert that to kilometers. Yeah, what he said. Okay. All right. All right. We might need pallets of uh, additive too. As big as this field is. Chad, it's a monster. We're gonna be here for a minute, y'all. And then when we get this done, if we get this done tonight, then we fast time, and then we can mow, and then harvest corn there for like actual corn, not for chaff. I know. Very exciting stuff tonight, Chad. Okay. I'm excited. I'm here for it. Could you do the point kilometers? Does that would that take in farm sims farms? Like sixty four point forty eight. Wait, say that again. Sixty four point forty eight like kilometers per hour. Would that would the would that take in the farm sim? Like the point. 48? I don't know. I've never tried. Interesting. So I use, <laughs> I use a uh, formula, a Google Drop doc, okay. for uh, figuring out horsepower and all, and all the info you need when you mod it. So I got you. I'm sure I could probably figure out some way of making that. I'm sure it's game breaking. <laughs> it probably is. Yeah. No, oh, the game is game breaking. Oh wait, I, did I say that out loud? Just like today when they updated pumps and hoses, like kind of without announcing it ahead of time or anything. Yeah. And uh, I like fired up the server and I was like figured Storms was gonna join, which he tried and like wouldn't work. And well, pumps and hoses on there was outdated. <laughs> Didn't realize that it had updated. <laughs> Yeah, that confused me, and I was just like, wait, what? Huh? Yeah. And I started paying attention to versions, and I'm like, oh, okay, that makes sense now. And it's it's kind of weird on, like, the server side itself that, like, I can, quote, have farm sim running, but, like, the server's not running, if that makes sense. Because, like, I go in and basically launch, like, a, a server file inside of Armsim and then that creates like the website that I log into to actually turn on the actual server and then it creates another uh, command prompt basically a text window and that's what actually like fires up the server so it's kind of like I can have Farmsim on so of course it won't auto update because it's running and Steam says hey I'm running a game I can't update so that's that's why it wasn't updated today because like that side of the server was on but not the actual server server and i know this makes no sense to anybody but me but it's just the way it is man <laughs> makes no sense to anybody but 
That makes sense to me. And sad times, chat. All of our snow's gone. It's in the 40s for two days in a row. Which, I, not complaining about that. 40 has never felt so so warm. But we actually are going to get a little bit of snow tonight. Maybe up to an inch of snow tonight. So, you know, everybody go get your milk bread and eggs around St. Louis tonight, you know. Better hurry up. Stores might have to close early because they're going to run out of milk, bread, and eggs, you know. Just saying. It might happen. But yeah, maybe up to a whole inch of snow. And I'm not going to worry about cleaning it up. Although it's going to be cold for a couple of days coming up. Like, back down to single digits again. So can't wait. I uh, can't wait for that. Or something. Should be fun. Uh, you know when you when you see an email and you're just like, I have to. What is that? I need to know what that is. And then it's not something that you need to worry about anyway, because it's spam. same it's all spam you're supposed to get more snow and ice tonight are you really kidding me dang have you seen like any warm temperatures last couple days or no or is it being cold there too okay interesting no it was nice at the farm yesterday. I mean, I only the only thing I did outside at the farm yesterday was uh, I put new windshield wipers on the truck. That's that was that was the extent of outside work yesterday at the farm. Otherwise, it was let's go in the shed. It's warm in there. Been snowing all day, polar bear. Wow. 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 You've still never seen snow. Interesting. Come to Michigan. We got some. Yeah, I say. It needs more tonight, too. <laughs> Come to the Midwest. There's plenty. Well, kind of. Not really, but a little bit. You can go up where Farmer Nick had, what, like three feet of snow? So did Shane. I think Shane had about three feet of snow. Yep. Uh, he was... <laughs> He was talking last night. He came in team speak for a little bit. Apparently, his town put like big B plows on some of their trucks, and like roads that had not been plowed at all, they're just like flying through them with V plows. He said it's awesome to watch. Oh, I bet. I can't imagine. It'd be so much fun. Yeah. I can remember one time years and years and years ago, like I was a kid. And we had a ton of snow that was blowing and, and drifting and stuff down by the farm. And they brought in road graders with big V plows on the front. And they would run out there, run those up and down the roads. That was cool. That was cool. It's on your bucket list. I got gotcha. you. That's funny. That's funny. All right, Scoot, I think your chariots have to chop. Arms, are you full? Oh my goodness. Finally. Uh, we need to make sure we get additive in the other forge harvester, okay? Yeah, there should be some behind the uh, There's a bunch shop there. next, yeah, next to the fuel, tank. Uh, fuel barrel. Yes. Yep. yep, there's quite a bit there actually. I don't think he's actually synced in yet. Maybe he has. I don't know. Things on this map take a minute. I've noticed. But you know what problem we haven't had yet on this map, Storms? What? Do we say it? Zero percent? No. Yeah. <laughs> I know. I should, we shouldn't talk about it. Because then we'll have problems with it. Which is just funny because we basically have all the same mods. 
There was one mod I noticed we don't have. What mod was that? Thanks to the raid. Welcome in. What's poppin'? What mod was... Oh, it's the damage bar mod. I don't think we have that one. No. That's the only mod we don't have that we normally run. So, like, is... Is I don't that... know why we really run that mod. Because it'll tell you if you're, if you're like, tractor's damaged or your implement. It has, like, a different damage bar for whatever you have selected in the top left. I think it's a really cool mod, personally. You got all the way to storage and back that fast? Yeah. Holy cow. All right. When you drive at 90. Oh, that's right. That truck goes fast. I forgot about that. I was thinking you had the other truck that only goes. He can barely get it to 45. Oh, you okay. mean the end game yeah. truck? Yeah. 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 Barely to 45. Knocking out the bushels now, y'all. We're back and forth, you know. The bushels. You don't measure this in bushels, but, you know. Fine. Oh, good. Oh, man. Those little skippers are going to throw off our numbers now. That's going to ruin the whole test. Sorry, Kimmy. Our science was will be for nothing. Or something. It'll be fine. It'll buff. Do we have any uh south of anywhere? South of the giant shed next to the fuel tank. There's a few pallets anyway. Oh. Alright. Likes your trailer. I think that's too far up. Could be. There you go. And that's really fast up, but I don't remember this trailer being edited quite in that way, but it sure is. Definitely uh changed a little bit or a lot bit, actually. That's okay. I guess it doesn't hurt anything, right? Or everything. Oh, did you find the scoop? Yeah, I'm just trying to figure out how to fill it. Uh, be selected on it. Um, park next to the R. Just make sure your header is not. You're not selected on that header because that header has capacity, but it doesn't work. So yeah. Old man's not happy. No, he just got a bath. Ah. Yeah, I'm not happy when I get a bath either. Profit. Oh wait. You didn't hear that chat. Oh Are we done yet? Not even close. Twenty minutes, right? Oh wait. You wait more than twenty minutes. I can't wait to see the plow truck come flying down my street again tomorrow for absolutely no reason for an inch of snow. Can't wait. Cannot wait to. Because they did the other day and they definitely did not put salt down. After kind of watching how it was melting and stuff the next day, definitely did not put salt down. But if you send the trucks out, then you get less phone calls complaining that you don't that you didn't send trucks out so you might as well just send trucks out this makes sense unfortunately in the world we live in everybody has to call and complain did i say that out loud yeah not wrong throwing shade today huh oh good you think your neighbor's going to bring out his uh, snowblower tomorrow? Probably. Probably Not like will. my neighbor and with two inches of snow out there, go out there with a leaf blower and blow it all. Wow. I mean, it works. It works. 
Yeah, so he's out there for like this car to uh, dry it off. Wow. Well, I actually seen on Amazon a special nozzle for uh, the DeWalt leaf blower for uh -huh. drying cars off. Like a little stubby nozzle. I would say, why do you need a special nozzle for that? More like, you know. But just a stubby nozzle. So it's just so you can get closer to the car is what you're getting at, though. I guess. Yeah. Okay. So I guess what you're saying, you could use that to like clean snow off cars. Yeah, I guess, but. I mean, I'll never, I'll never for, remember that that time I put up that video of me like going out and cleaning cars off with the, with the leaf blower. You I mean, they make that? a leaf broom attachment for like a uh, weed whacker that does pretty good with snow. Oh, wow, you have enough for on a car. Yeah, it, it's uh, one thing if you're using your. Don't you care about your car? <laughs> one thing if you're using your leaf blower to like blow off your car. Yeah. It's another thing when you're blowing off your car and the driveway and the sidewalk. But why not? If it's if it's a good if it's a good dry snow that'll that'll that you can handle not with the leaf when blower. It's two inches. But why? If it's a dusting, yeah, I can see that. But he, he spent more time out there with the leaf blower than he did could have with the, his snow blower. That is sitting right there in his garage. But, but you know what? Maybe he was like smiles per gallon, you know, kind of conversation. He was having no. a good time. This guy don't smile. <laughs> Did you see the... Uh... What, is he my neighbor? Pretty anyway. much, yeah. Did I see what? Um, The TikTok I did with the snowblowers the other day. Mm, no, do you post it the TikTok channel? Yeah, well, it's I've, like a Facebook reel, but yeah, kind of like TikTok. I have not been in there. No, I, I saw did. it. And I thought of you telling your story about your neighbor with the okay. blower. Was that where there were two guys <laughs> hitting each other with their snowblowers? Yeah, because I saw a TikTok <laughs> like that today. Yeah, one was doing like a sidewalk, and one was doing a driveway. Yep. Yeah, okay. and they That's just what. started blowing each other. Well, whoa, whoa, uh, I just set myself way up for that one. Um, that's right. <laughs> See, what I want to do... Where are you is, going, East-West? Uh, East-West, yep. I want to make a... Whoa. Arms, you're a robot. You got a robot there for a second, too. Whoa. He speaks dying. Mm, maybe. Yeah, we're all dropping like a lot. 18%. All of us, though. Well, that's fun. Who did what? Nothing. Nothing. Nothing happened. <laughs> um, just turn Anyways. around and do the one closest to you. I said, okay. Right, on it. Yeah, I want to create a V8 snowblower. Okay. Yeah. I've seen sure. a V8 chainsaw before. That was pretty dope. Let's it takes do it. two people to carry, though. Yeah, I'll just. Great zoomies on it. Zoom. Okay. Got that zoom, zoom, zoom. All right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. Back and forth. The mini. Uh, Kimmy, I think so. There's also a guy that has, I don't know what brand it is or anything, but it's like this little, it's like a snowblower, but with no handle. And it's like, does his driveway autonomously. Can't just DM me the clip scoot. So. Uh, yep. Kimmy, are you talking about like the RC truck? I've oh. seen a few different, uh, like iterations of it, yeah. of, you know, 10 scale RCs, yep. you know, semis, uh, I really regular RCs and they put a electric snowblower on the front of it and they go out and they'll clean their driveway for two hours. Yeah. A flamethrower with, dog with the driveway. snow shovel. No, snow shovel's overrated. I last no. year it, it was a thing where that dude he had crocs and he put little snow blades on the front. 
And then he put oh, a yes. little salt spreader. And then he put a lot. That was the best thing ever. We need to bring that back. I, I saw that video uh, this year. Did you? And I, I had seen the STL files on probably Thingiverse. So if you have a 3D printer, you can just print your oh, own. Wow. I don't have Crocs or a 3D printer, but I might have to buy both. But no, this guy taught his dog how to use a snow shovel to clean his driveway. Oh, wow. But the I real was... redneck way is to use your zero turn and take two backpack leaf blowers and stick it on there and just drive it down the driveway. Interesting. Very, very interesting. Now, it's, you know, rednecks will come up with many different ways to clean a, a driveway. You know, where there's a redneck, there's there's a way, you know. Oh, yeah. I've thought <laughs> about buying a tiger torch or putting it icy. Wow. Wow. I've always wanted just, just a hose. When you get, like, ice on your driveway, if it's not, like, you know, zero degrees, but if you get, like, a little freezing rain, just go out there with a garden hose. Wash it down. You might have to sprinkle a little, little salt when you get done, but it's, it's a little fifty percent. Okay. Yeah. I quickly looked at Scoots and I saw like ninety eight. I'm like, oh. oh crap! I better. And then... Yeah, Scoot. We are conducting science on this field, so please do not like fill up and waste a bunch, okay? Okay. We, every liter matters. We're doing science here. Okay. So what do I do to get this guy to come empty me out? Uh, you wait for me to pass you, and the storms will empty you. Okay. That we're not actually using that guy. That's only going to be if I start getting backed up, which, yeah, which we should. at the rate this is going, I don't think that's going to be a concern. I'll stop, Scoot. Move over a little bit for you. See, what that guy is, that's my idea of how to do this. So then Starve said no. No, because we've had so many issues in the past. Uh, true. But I'd be willing to fight it one more time, you know? I really just want to try my new auto drive on these, these two fields. That's that's all I really want to do. Let's go. You good there? Yeah, I mean, it's not giving me the option to empty. It will. If it doesn't, you might have to cycle. Oh, you have to hit uh, U on that thing first. That's a brand new wagon, right? Yeah. It's set to unload out the back. Oh. If you hit U, it should pop up. Then. Because you have to change, like, the tip point. Or Y, maybe. One of those two. Yeah, I got it. Got it. All right. Yep. Um, story of my life. What? I say that out loud. Uh, Better than what I said. <laughs> I mean, I just speak the truth, you know. What is it? Okay, you can't take that out of context. There, nope, there's only one context there. It's the truth. Trent 417 just resubscribed for 29 months. Trent 417, welcome back for 29 whole months. Holy cow. Doesn't seem like... Seems like yesterday. How's it going, man? Thanks for the resub. I do appreciate it. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. It's so nice to have alerts back on, too, by the way. Mm -hmm. It was so weird the other day with no alerts. But, hey, I got 280 followers that day. I uh, say, why do people think that's so funny? Because, like, you're not the only person I've seen it happen to. No, no. No, it happens all over the place. And, like... For some reason, when we started playing, like, Lego Fortnite, that's when, is, I guess we were in the Fortnite category. That's when it got, like, uh, really bad. With, like, bots following and all that stuff. So, it is what it is, you know? But it's annoying. You need to get a job. Something. Need to go touch some grass or something. I don't know. Need to do something. Go cut some corn. Go play some Fortnite or something. I don't know. Do something. I'm not really sure, but need to be trolling people on the internet. Some people yeah. think that's awful funny. I don't. I don't know. 
I, you skip I, him or you turn to the next one again? Uh, I don't know. What do you want me to do? Okay. I don't care. I just we need to get so synced up, and then that would help out everything. Okay. Well, I'll just turn around and come back down there. Okay. I I have no idea, Polar Bear. I don't know what they gain out of it. I I don't know. I, I don't I don't know the point and I I'm not gonna look into it. It's not me doing the bot follows and I don't know what the port like the purpose is, you know. Purpose. Yeah, I don't know. But I got two hundred fifty or two hundred and eighty something followers the other day. The funny thing is every once in a while Twitch will go through and like delete known bot accounts. And so you'll just be like streaming along one day and all of a sudden your follower count will fall off by, you know. 500, 1,000. <clears throat> I've had mine go down, I think, a couple thousand that one time, like back when bot following was really bad. You're just streaming along, and all of a sudden your your follower count just, like, falls off, and you're just like, um, cool, thanks. Really appreciate that, which, I mean, they're fake accounts anyway, so it's fine, but, like, it's... Oh, this is Patrick. What up, Patrick? Tomcat. <laughs> nice the bits. Kind of scared me there a little bit there, Patrick. I got a longer long. version back on. Longer version of what? Patrick thing. There's a longer one? Yeah, the one you had uh for Scary Night. That is the Patrick one. Isn't there another long, uh, another Patrick one that you had going? We had Tony's Leaf Erickson day one. That's the one I was thinking of. Where he kind of sounds like Patrick. Maybe that's it. Ding a Durgan. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Sounds like Tony. Yeah, because it's something like, hi, this is Patrick, or I hate SpongeBob, or something. I forget how, how it goes now, actually. Yeah, I know there's a hing and ding a Durgan in there. Yeah, yeah, I think that's the one I'm thinking of. Okay, yeah, that's Leaf Erickson Day. Typically, I only turn that one on, you know, around Lee Ferguson, which I don't remember when that is. <laughs> September? I want to say it's sometime in September. Somebody will correct. Somebody's going to Google when Lee Ferguson Day is and going to tell me. Right? Probably. Bring back uh, Danger Zone. Maybe might, try to get closer? Might have, you have to cycle it. Uh, oh, stop. Yeah. You mean the Unsolved Mysteries? Blood Polar Bear? It was definitely not Danger Zone. October. By the way, chat, there's Sean. Some Sean, they were asking about you earlier. They thought I got rid of you. Not like that way. It got rid of you. Forget about Not like that, you know. Hi, Sean. Here the guns. Take the cannolis. He got to swim with the fish, you know. <laughs> Forget about it. I'm kidding. October What happens 9th. when you talk about my mom's spaghetti? Mom wasn't really known for her spaghetti. That's Eminem's mom. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you ever been to his restaurant, Starbucks? You live, like, right there, right? I know. No, I haven't. No. I don't go to the city. Oh. Ever. Yeah, I don't blame you. I don't go to the city I live in either. <laughs> or live close to. <laughs> the city's a scary place, okay? Yeah. I don't like going there. If I don't have to. It is scary, but that's okay. Sounds like Danger Zone when you start singing Danger Zone. Uh, nice shot. Tomcat with like the sleeping uh, emoji and the, you know, the fish. All right. <laughs> First time so 
Do we need to pick corn to feed the animals? Yes, we need corn to feed, or maize, uh, to feed the chickens. That's what this field's going to be for, field four. We have to fast time a day, obviously, but this big field is all going to be chaffed. Swimming with the fish. Forget about it. Yeah, forget about it. Or something like that. Is this pre-recorded? Yes. yes. I'm 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 using I'm using the latest and greatest AI technology to make it look like I'm talking to you live. But this is definitely pre-recorded. Yeah, we're actually psychic, so we knew ahead of time that you're going to yeah. ask that at this exact moment. Wait, psychics or psychos? Yes. <laughs> I'm more so the later, but... Uh, yeah, I mean... Oops. L3FT4D3 at just resubscribed for 26 months. Predict this I. Laugh, thanks for the resub. Really appreciate it. 26 whole months. Wow. Thanks, left. Or wait, so is it... I should have said it like Brian says his name, not left. Dang it. Where's Davison? Where's Davison? I can I can say it like Brian. <laughs> Davison. Oh, man. I think it's funny. Leonard, no. Leonard, no. Absolutely not, Leonard. I don't and even really know what that is, but he's DMing. Sorry. Yeah, that's what I'm worried about. Yeah. Because, well, it is Leonard, so. <laughs> hey, Leonard has some great. Some of the best DMs I've ever received, received like, funny. They're from Leonard, just saying. So, uh, you were talking about wanting to go faster for this, right? That may be just a smidge, yeah. Yeah. Since we're not doing mod light, <laughs> we can turn this there, up a little bit. Yeah, I can there, edit it more. Well, there is one that you can adjust. It, it's called working speed, where you can adjust any implement or yeah. attachment speed. I feel like then we would just turn everything up like way too much. Well, no, it only goes to a certain point. You can't like max max crazy Isaac, max. It. What's going on? How are you? I gotcha. Let me just turn this up a little bit. We'll be fine. Just, I don't want to... Like, 10 is fine, you know? It won't let you drift at 124 in the uh, root crop harvester. Good. <laughs> That's not a bad thing that it won't. I mean, hello? Goodness. Goodness me. I mean, it was a fun night watching him slide around the map. <laughs> it was something, all right. Oh, I go here. Or should I even go here? Uh, uh, might not. I don't know. We'll see how this works. <laughs> With like a color, uh, uh, like tillage, this would be fine. But I don't know about. Uh... Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. Worst case scenario: th slow down and. How long out. does it take to permit permit uh, uh, one day? One, one day. One month. One month. Yeah, you got me on the technicality. Yeah, one month. Yep. So we play one day a month. So for us, one day, one month, same things. Boom, roasted. How about that? It. But, mm. I don't, I don't know if that counts as a I roast. No, I, I know that not everybody uh, plays on one day month, so, but we do. That buffalo chicken dip is kind of talking, y'all. Tonight might be a Tums night. <laughs> That's how you know what you had for dinner was good, right? Thanks, Tums. 
I wonder if you're going to be able to unload. Uh, probably not. Oh. Oh. All right. Well, I'm good to the other barely. end now, probably. <laughs> All right. Well, we know the answer. At least with uh, your trailer not being all the way full, it's uh, it's fine. Yep. We're good. All right. Well, I'll just keep running uh, skippers then. And uh, we'll get the field done in a jiffy. Not sure whose time scale, you know, we're working with here, but. We're almost hey, my there. time scale is still 8 o'clock. We're almost half done. I've missed a minute. Yeah, it's, yeah. I I was going to say hi, dude. It's not noon. Eight o'clock, right on the nose. You betcha. Always eight o'clock, right on the nose. For the most part. For the most part. The so chat, railroader tomorrow. We're going to be driving trains for like seven hours going to be so much fun. We're going to get so much done. It's going to be glorious. Just saying. Whoa, whoa. Oh, yeah. It is going to be a good time. Can't wait. Leonard, tomorrow's Friday. Sir. Uh, we are doing. Welcome in. What's poppin'? Today's only Thursday, Leonard. I think. Hold on. Yep, can confirm. Today is Thursday. Can confirm. Did y'all know tomorrow's Friday? <laughs> Uh, you know, it's Rebecca Black's favorite day of the week, Leonard, so, yeah. It's Friday. Probably around 3 o'clock again, Sean Santral. I don't know why I got all Southern there for a little, you know, Friday. No, but thanks for letting me know. It's brand. It's gonna be cold tomorrow too, Chad. I'm gonna have to have to turn on all the heaters. High today was 57. Low tonight is eight. Oh dang! That's bad, Leonard. That's bad. That was 30. It hit like 45 here today. I actually turned all my heaters off today. Got, they're not running like still since the start of the stream. It's hot in here. 72 whole degrees. Yeah. Just saying. Yeah. Eight. Holy guacamole. Holy Hannah Montana. It's going to be four here tomorrow night. I might have to wear like double socks tomorrow. Keep my feet warm, you know. I'd have to do that tomorrow. Oh boy. Lowest here this week is 42. All right, Starbs, I can't get you now. Oh, it does for a second and then it like goes farther back and then it's done. Heat wave tomorrow, high of 35. Golly. Yeah, no, it's it's done. I might be able to make it. If I can, I'll stop at like 95% here. Yeah. I have six tomorrow. Wow. We always talk about food, too. We talked about food earlier tonight. You could you could make a Puma Plow bingo card. Are we gonna talk about food? Specifically, are we gonna talk about pizza? Are we gonna talk about the weather? Mm, you're over the snow. 
Are we going to talk about a YouTube farmer? We talk about them a lot. Right? Are we going to talk about football? That's a that's a timely, you know, during the season one. Just saying. Food's one of the best topics. Talk about trains. Yep. Jacob 2348 yeah. just resubscribed for 30 months. Well, look at the 30 months. Jacob, thanks for the 30 month resub. How's it going? What's popping? All of the above. Is Leonard going to send me a funny DM? What about the Cowboys not firing uh, Mike McCarthy? Have they announced that he's coming back or have they just not fired him yet? I don't actually know which way. I mean, I don't know. he hasn't gone yet. He's probably not going. Oh my, 98. 98% starves. <laughs> Uh, what YouTube farmers? There's all kinds we watch. Larson and Brian. And he still didn't film me. All kinds of them. Alright, I'm empty. Still not full. <laughs> oh. What, Leonard? <laughs> uh, I think that's Leonard's way of saying it. We can hear you breathe and scoot sometimes. That's what Leonard's trying to say without saying it. I think, I, or is that what you were laughing at? I don't know what you were laughing at. No, Maybe not. Do what? I was laughing at his uh, message on Twitch. Is it he a uh, Cowboys fan? Yes. Meatballs I'm sure he way. loves Mike McCarthy. Isaac with two eyes just yeah. subscribed. Yo, Isaac with two eyes subscribed for the first. No. Isaac with two eyes just resubscribed for six months. What? Why did that say it like that? Isaac, thanks for the resub. I do appreciate you. What? Yeah, Justin. I heard about that today. I haven't seen the clip yet, but like, idiot, right? Oh, because he was talking about the Cowboys. Oh. oh. Leonard, have you seen uh, the clip from Timmy's stream from Tuesday? With the Ninja Dodo? It's the best thing I've ever heard. Miss Walker 31428 Ox Air Dex 300. Miss Walker, they swim 300 bits and our second hype trade of the night. Let's go. It's it's pretty much the best thing ever. Timmy was getting roasted by his like donos Leonard on Tuesday, and so he ended up putting his like minimum donation amount at five hundred dollars. And then, of course, Ninja was watching him. Kimmy underscore O's cheered X100. And definitely donated, and it was really funny. $500. Kimmy, they to the 100. Do what? Isn't like 95% of his donors him getting roasted? 100. Wahoo. Lama Lama, thanks for the 100. Kimmy GG's on the new bit badge. How many of the other donations were him? I don't know. I know that it was that one. Because Ninja was literally watching. You send underscore 50 cheers. Hilarious. 5, Justin, thanks for the 5,000 biddies. Do appreciate them. Do appreciate them. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Storms, that might be something to notice there, by the way. What? Well, if you don't, so the, the shoot on this trailer is not centered, right? Yeah. Here, pull back up here. If you're on my yeah, left it's side, it spun up like farther around a whole lot farther. Oh God. Oh, oh, oh boy. Let's see how much farther it spins around on this side. Yeah. Yeah. I wonder if that's something to keep in mind if we're getting like close to being full, you know? I don't know. Guys, we're at level four on this hive train. 
43%. Holy cow. Holy moly donut shop. Yeah, holy moly. Holy, holy moly donut. Yep, you guys heard me. You know. You know what I'm trying to say. I don't know what I'm trying to say half the time, so I don't know how you guys would ever know. Oh, man. But anyway, the Tim and Ninja thing was hilarious. Absolutely hilarious. Especially, like, people made TikToks of, like, both of their streams and, like, put them together. It was so funny. It was... It's definitely worth a watch, Leonard. Or anybody. It's great. You read between the lines. How are you reading my speech? Do you have closed captioning on? Because if so, I bet that struggles. Is that? I don't even think you can do that. I think I have to have it running on my end first. I know a person that watches movies that way because they say it makes them focus more. I'm like, that just make me get mad. I would just focus on the text, not like the movie. Yep. In fact, at my brother's house on New Year's Day, we were watching that documentary about the Killdozer, mm -hmm. which fascinating watch. If you all have, have not seen it, fascinating watch. And I believe, I think it's on YouTube. You can watch it for free. Dad watched it when we came home. But anyway, there was a lot of noise that hit my brother's house. So my sister was like, yo, turn on closed captioning. And I spent most of my time not looking at the movies, just reading the captions, you know? So I kind of, I, I should probably watch it again too sometime but absolutely fascinating that that whole thing with the killdozer crazy and all it all stopped because of a basement well and he overheated the thing but anyway it was it was wild absolutely wild oh man but hey, we went to the farm yesterday, chat, and the farm survived the very cold weather, which was good. All battery chargers looked good yesterday, and nothing exploded in the refrigerator because there's Christmas lights in it right now to keep it warm. Uh, but yeah, everything was good yesterday. It was it was good to see. Good Inside to go back. Inside the fun. refrigerator. Yeah, so we unplugged the refrigerator, right? Mm -hmm. And we don't want everything to freeze in there because, you know, we go down there, we want a bottle of water or, or a soda or something, right? Mm -hmm. And so there's two. There's two air horns inside the fridge. <laughs> and it just keeps it at the perfect, about 40 degrees, you know. Bob and Lava, thanks for the 500 bits. Appreciate you. No, there's two C9s, like old school Christmas lights, uh, on a custom string that I made up years ago, and it has kept our fridge from uh, from freezing. Hmm. Now, some of the stuff in the bottom of the fridge was very cold yesterday, but it was not frozen, so we did not have to let it go or build a snowman. So the more kind of you know, do what? The more you know, right? Yeah, we've been, well, the first year, so, like, when Grandpa was farming, he had a fridge down there, but he wouldn't leave anything over the winter. And then after, like, Grandma and Grandpa moved to town, he had, like, this little fridge in the shed. And then we went many years without a fridge, and we learned our lesson real fast the first year we had a fridge again. Like, you gotta either take everything home or you gotta uh, put some kind of heat source in there, you know? Um, chat, thanks to the uh, uh, the hype train. Some of you may have gotten some emotes even. Holy cow, do appreciate y'all. Thanks, chat. But yeah, we... Uh, yeah, that one year we had uh, Diet Mountain Dew. Diet Mountain Dew freezes very aggressively. It was everywhere. It took us forever to clean the fridge. <laughs> So yeah, that was fun. That is an interesting... I don't remember seeing that emote, but I... I know I have them. I don't remember that one. Five gallon... 
Water jug fully frozen and several popped energy drinks. Yeah. Yep. Yep. It's unfortunate. That cold weather will get you. Wow, Tomcat, that's a really weird emote to unlock on a hype train. That's literally Tomcat's emote from, from Puma Plow. So he definitely did not get that from a hype train. Just uh, for the record. <laughs> Let the record show. I think we need a Rebecca Black emote. Where's Carson? Where's Carson? Like an animated Rebecca Black emote. I don't know why it would be animated, but... I have animated slots available on, on tier two and three, especially. My trailer's not cooperating, so I'm sorry. Oh, it wants to cooperate and then it doesn't. If you slow up, you can shoot into mine and then storms can go on my right side. You think? Well, John would clip just blasting through the middle of everything. <laughs> and room on the side. I'm leading the pack. Yeah, and creating a much more <laughs> difficult situation to be unloaded. Fine. Are we, we hot swapping here? No, you're just going to keep driving. I just had to get out of the, out of the field first. Is that better? I was blazing the trail, man. Remember the beginning of the stream when you asked how often you trigger me and every time you breathe? Every time you... Yeah, never mind. Yep. It's triggering is occurring, huh? You know, so, so, Storms, how often do you talk to me or talk about me to your therapist? You, you don't want me to answer that. <laughs> I should probably start paying for your therapy appointment, shouldn't I? Uh, it's covered by insurance. Oh, okay. So. All right. <laughs> Hi, it's me. I'm the problem. It's me. Uh, okay, cool. I'm empty. Thanks. Yeah, you see how that works? <laughs> that no, works good. That it's works. almost like that's the way it should be done. Weird. It's so strange. I just don't understand it. Chad, he's just mad because I told him he couldn't cut down trees while we were streaming tonight. Yeah. But he did cut down trees for like a lot of the day, right? Uh, part of the day because I had to go to a chiropractor and other things, so. 24 hours of Daytona is a week from Saturday. Awesome. And Do I they got winter tires? <laughs> they might need them this year. <laughs> they might I mean, need them. I understand it's Daytona. They might need them, yeah. But, it, it, you know. The way things are going this year. Never know. I mean, Texas was freezing, so. Yeah, yeah. And I can watch it, Sean, while I'm streaming, assuming it's on a network I can watch. Because I remedied the whole Hulu issue while streaming the uh, farm sim. I remedied that problem today. Just for the record. And I only had to spend, like, $4. So not bad, right? Remedied the problem, yeah. I haven't tested the theory out yet. Okay. NASCAR, uh, NASCAR Hall of Fame tomorrow. Okay. All right. Uh, so, Sean, I have a tablet that I've had forever. Um, this isn't my original tablet. It was this is like a second tablet. But I've had it forever, and I don't really ever, I don't use it for anything. I had it for, like, watching YouTube and stuff, but, like, I just, I never use it. 